This is Evergreen Tech Tips and welcome to this new useful tutorial. Today you will learn to make Windows 7 bootable pen drive. You need a third party software like Rufus. However, you can prefer command prompt to make your pen drive bootable. But you need to give all command in order and it takes lot time. Rufus is better software which I am using it from last year. So, I recommend you to use the software. Also, you need an 8 or more than 8 GB pen drive. Here I am using 16 GB HP pen drive. Lastly, you also need the ISO file of Windows 7 complete setup files. Please watch my video tutorial on how to make an ISO file. So, without wasting any time, please follow these some simple steps to make your pen drive bootable. Step 1, plug in your pen drive and go to my computer. Step 2, open up the Rufus software. It is better to run as administrator. Step 3, the Rufus software will choose all the best default settings for your bootable pen drive. One main thing you need to select is the disk drive icon on the bottom here. This will allow you to choose the ISO file of any Windows setup. I have the ISO setup files of Windows 7 Ultimate. So, I am going to search for its location and select this ISO Windows setup file. Step 4, the pen drive is ready to make bootable. Finally, click on start. A warning message box will pop out which says all your files on the pen drive will lost and it will format it. I recommend you to check once your pen drive that may contain your important data. So, make backup of those files first and follow this step on Rufus. Step 5, after you press start and OK, please wait for some time to complete the process. After the work is done by Rufus, your pen drive will fully function as a bootable pen drive. So, enjoy! Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe for more useful tutorials on Evergreen Tech Tips.